I'm Tim from Joby, and I'm here to talk to you about the Joby Swing designed in partnership with Syrup Lab. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the Swing, the Swing Phone Mount Kit, and the Swing Complete Kit. Make sure you watch this video till the end to catch all the important settings information. The Swing brings easy to use linear motion control to smartphone creators in the form of an electronic slider. This allows you to make moving time lapses and unique videos. Leveling up content has never been this easy. Simple and intuitive, the Swing is controlled via our dedicated Joby Motion app, available on iOS and Android. We'll be updating this app regularly, but I'll cover more on that later. The Joby Swing pairs perfectly with the Ballhead 1K and the Griptite 1 foam mount, and these can be bought together in the Swing foam mount kit. Pair this combination up further with the GorillaPod 3K stand, and you have our popular Swing Complete kit. But let's not forget the rest of our Joby support range. You can pair your swing up with larger supports like the GorillaPod 5K kit or our range pod for full size stability and versatility. First off, head over to your respective app store on either your iPhone or your Android and download the Joby Motion app. Then plug your swing into a suitable five volt plug or socket using the included USB-C cable and give it around two to two and a half hours until fully charged. You'll know this when the orange light turns white. Mounting the swing is straightforward. Grab the grey base and find the locking slider switch. Push this in and hold as you attach via the quarter 20 mounting point. When it feels tight, let go and you're done. Just be careful not to manually move the red and grey sections separately. To mount your ball head, find the locking slider switch on the red arm. Push in and hold. You can now secure your ball head. Once it's tight, you can release the switch and you're good to go. Once your top ball head and bottom support are locked, you can freely adjust them to your desired orientation. And the clicking that you feel with each adjustment is totally normal. Then you can add your phone mount. You can now choose whether you want to shoot horizontally for some awesome YouTube content or vertically to get your TikTok game on. I'm going to show you all of this in the horizontal position. At this point, you should also turn off your phone's orientation lock. That way the app will work properly. Once you've set up your phone mount, you can check your setup with the bubble level on the swing. Now secure your phone in the mount and hit the power button on the side. Make sure your support is really well mounted and set it as wide as possible. Get those tripod legs set for strength as this awesome bit of kit is going to move across the top of it and that means the center of gravity will move too. Also have the long end of the swing pointing away from the action. This just ensures that you don't get any part of it in the shot. One thing to remember when using a slider is but it's important to have a foreground and a background to help show off the unique linear movement and travel distance. Connect to your swing by pressing the little Bluetooth logo at the top right of the app. This will bring up a connection screen showing units which are nearby and turned on. Connect by touching the little circle next to your device. At this point, you might be prompted for an update. Make sure you do this before proceeding. This is a good time to rename your swing if you want, a good idea if you have more than one. To do this, just long press the little pencil icon. When you're ready, click back to the home screen and click Create. You now have the option to create a moving time lapse or video. Let's tap time lapse and look at the settings. First, you can see the start and end bar at the top of the screen. This is where you can set your start and end points. Pressing on the minus sign on the left side of the screen moves the swing to the left. And pressing the little positive sign on the right moves it over to the right. To set your start point, move it to where you're happy and click the circle on the bar it will turn white. Then move the swing to the end point in either direction, and then mark the end point by pressing the circle at the end of the bar. It will also turn white. Hit the return button, and you'll go back to the start point. If you want to play back the movement to check the framing, click the play arrow button. Now let's check out the settings by clicking the little Joby logo in the bottom corner. Change the speed in 5% increments and see how that changes the record time by referring to the yellow box under the start end bar. You now have the option to play with the interval. This is the time elapsed between the photos taken for your time lapse, and adjusting this adjusts how sped up the final time lapse is. A longer interval means that there is more time between the shots, and so the time lapse is more sped up. Set the shooting interval either with the presets or with 3, 5, and 10 seconds. Again, Note the total time for creation in the yellow box. Set a start delay if you want to be part of the shot. Swap between rear and front camera 
If you have a phone with multiple lenses, for example, the iPhone 13 Pro Max, you can pinch to zoom the camera in and out and automatically switch between lenses, just like in the native camera app. You may find the ultra-wide angle lens provides the best results. I do have to mention that using a phone camera lens that has optical image stabilization may result in shakiness in the video. On iPhones, the selfie camera and the ultra-wide angle lens don't have optical image stabilization, so you may find that using these lenses will result in the smoothest footage. Last setting option here is for tutorials. Click on that if you want a quick reminder. When you're happy with all your settings, just hit that go button. Remember not to move the swing while it's busy capturing content. Now let's switch over to video. Click the back arrow and select video. You'll see the layout is the same, but instead of shooting multiple images, you'll be creating a moving video shot. Again, move the phone around by pressing the screen and set your start and end points on the bar. Within the settings, you can set the speed, add a start delay, or turn repeat on and off. The repeat setting will make the video go back and forth from the start to the end point until you tap on the stop button. Great feature for creating B-roll. When you're happy with all your settings, just hit that go button. At this point, if you have your time-lapse or video, you can go ahead and share it. And to do that, just click back to the home screen and tap the share button. This brings up the gallery of shots. From here, you can do some basic edits and share to your favorite platform or you can export it for a bigger project. To preserve battery life, remember to power off your device by holding down the power button for two seconds. So there you have it, an awesome electronic slider featuring linear movement. It's simple, app-driven motion control with the Joby Swing. To learn more about the Joby Swing and our other products, head over to joby.com and check out other tutorials on our YouTube channel. Direct links to these can be found in the settings screen. And remember, have fun, create,